sometimes the simplest strategies are the best strategies. And in this case, I put together a really basic trend following strategy that just looks for price action in a given period of time. We're looking for really, really big range of price within a single bar. And we're looking to see if the price is heading in a certain direction before we hop on in order to wait to see if the exact opposite happens in order to close all of our positions. So this particular strategy takes a number of trades over the one hour chart. And in general, it's doing quite well, about 157% over the period tested. It's profitable about 51% of the time, but when it wins, it wins about 51% more than it loses. This particular strategy just samples the high minus the low. And then we are taking 10 samples of that range and then looking back only two periods in order to collect the direction of the price. So let's talk about the first computation here. We just want the standard deviation of the high low range plus the moving average of that over that period of time, 10 periods in this case. If the range that we've just calculated high minus the low is greater than the computation, then we know that this is a really big price action period. And we can see this on the charts. If I look back at moments in which the high minus the low is rather large, you can see that this is where we've closed. This is where we've opened and the bars right before our open and close are fairly large. The long condition is really simple. If the computation finds that the range of the current bar is greater than that rolling standard deviation, and the close is greater than the close in the periods that we looked back, in this case, two look back bars, then we want to take an entry. And on the flip side, if the range bar is really big, but the close is lower than the close look back, then we'll close all of our positions. Extremely simple, nothing complex here. And it seems to work pretty well on the one hour chart. Now let's take this strategy and actually set it up in traders post, which we can do just by starting in the dashboard. Everything always starts with webhooks, strategies, and subscriptions. In this case, I'm going to trade the QQQ and I want to use the webhook that I've set up for stocks. If you've never set up a webhook before, here's what it looks like. You'll give your webhook a name. In my case, it was called the stocks webhook. The asset class is stocks. I'm going to allow any ticker. We'll take away any defaults here and that's it. Just click save. On the strategy side, we're going to create a new strategy for our trend following strategy, and we'll give it a name. This is the high low range strategy. It's going to use the stocks webhook. It's bullish. We're only going along on these trades. It's going to trade stocks. In this case, for this particular strategy, I'm going to just give it 5% of the portfolio value to trade. And there's no need for take profit and stop loss because the strategy in trading view actually knows when to enter and exit. And that's it. We'll go ahead and save our strategy here. Now, the next step is to subscribe my broker to this strategy. For me, I'm going to go ahead and connect it to the trader's post paper broker. I can choose to email myself. I'm going to check the box to auto submit because I do want this bot active and taking the orders by itself. I don't want to have to manually review each trade. We'll recheck, allow any ticker, make sure asset class is stocks, percent of portfolio value is still five, and that's it. We can save this. Now, the last step here is that we have to enable any new strategies that we've just created. So we have one last step in trading view. If we head back over here into trading view and we pull up the documentation from traders post, we're going to head down here to this section around shared strategies, which is the payload that we need to send. And by payload, I just mean the message body that's going to be sent in our alert. And we're going to send this message along with a webhook URL. And that webhook URL is how TradingView communicates with Traders Post. So I want to copy this whole thing because it's going to take advantage of the variables that are in TradingView to automatically decide what direction it needs to go in and which ticker to actually trade. So we'll copy this whole thing and we're going to create our alert inside TradingView. Using the Traders Post high-low range on order fills only, I'm going to send this message body, which we just copied from the documentation. The next critical step is to make sure that we're using the stocks webhook. So we'll go back to the stocks webhook. We'll copy the webhook URL. And then in this checkbox here, we'll paste that webhook URL and that's it. We've now created a one hour strategy on QQQ using this range trend following strategy. If you have other ideas you'd like me to explore, please mention them in the comments. Are there strategies or alerts you'd like to look at? Other ways in which you'd like to stand up an automated trading strategy? Let us know. We can look at those as well. Thanks again.